Here I am again. Uh, test, test day. This is seventh day, the first video. The second video uh, today will be the test. I let my hair down. I, I, I thought about, should I do that or not? In school, I never really did that, but the kids, they wanted so bad to see what I looked like without my ponytail. So I thought, I'm just going to get past it now. I don't feel like I've always got to wear that ponytail. I don't like having my hair in my face. And if I'm working, I really much, pretty much have to have it in a ponytail or a hat on. But when I'm just sitting relaxed, I don't. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd like to have the feel like, hey, I, I can let it down if I feel like it. So there's that. All right, uh, some things to get out of the way to get ready for the test. Uh, first of all, let me deal with this. Uh, of course, you're, you, you're going to need paper, uh, lined paper uh, with three holes in it. I mean, if you do it the way I'd like. Uh, and uh, I want you to have a pen. I always insist on a pen. Maybe, maybe uh, I can explain right now why that is. If the school supplies good paper, um, the school, uh, paper that will last. You know, for mathematics, doing arithmetic, pencil, cheap paper, doesn't matter. But the, but the paper that I get will last maybe 50 years. And pen is a permanent medium. If you don't use, uh, you can't write a check in pencil. They, they, they wouldn't take it at the bank. Uh, and I think this is a serious course. I, I want you to keep. Um, I want to keep. I want you to keep your notes uh, if you take notes. So anyway, a pen, uh, lined paper, three holes, and I'll show you uh, the kind of binder I recommend. Uh, so anyway, try to have that for the test. Now, uh, Leonato, he's the old guy. I'll leave this on the board. Leonato, the old guy pretty much owns the villa. Antonio's his brother, not a major character. I told you I liked, I liked this, the way he dances. Hero is Leonato's daughter, <coughs> uh, and Claudio is her true love by the end. Beatrice is Hero's cousin. Uh, that would be uh, Leonato's niece, not Antonio's daughter. We don't know anything about her mom or dad, but uh, anyway, they're cousins, and Benedict ultimately is uh, her true love as well. Prince Don John, uh, he's the, the prince, uh, played by Denzel Washington, the black man. Uh, Don John, uh, he's the villain. Uh, they're uh, half-brothers. Uh, some kids wonder, how come one's black and the other's white if they're brothers? And I said, well, you know, they, they had a different, uh, uh, they had a diff different mother. They were born out of wedlock, or one was. Um, I don't know, that's just what Brandon decided to do. I'm, a, I'm fine with it, I think it's good. The priest, uh, important character, Baraccio, he's a buddy to Don John, so is Conrad. I didn't put, Conrad is the one that shouts, you are an ass. Uh, but I'm not going to quote him in the test. Dogberry, you surely remember him, Burgess, there's the watch. Anyway, there are going to be your answers pretty much. You could just use the first three letters, except for, well, three letters, because Bia and Ben, uh, or just H when you go fast, but then with a video camera or uh, with a video, you can pause it if I get going too fast. Um, all right, uh, I think that's enough about the test. Uh, I'll give that in the next video, which I'm going to make in maybe a couple hours. Now, uh, credit, I, this course, you know, I got thinking, if there's some way that you could get credit for taking it, I, I'm not averse to that. I, I don't want any money for this. And I don't want to go to a whole lot of bother with keeping records and stuff. But this is a new world for me, uh, uh, teaching online. And, and if there was some way that, I don't know, you could demonstrate that you'd watch these videos, even if, if there's some way I could sign off on it, I don't know. I think, uh, I think sometimes comments are time-stamped. Is that what they call it? And if you submitted comments, I don't know. Um, help me out on that if you've got an idea. Uh, it looks to me as if I have at the moment about 35 people or so, maybe 40 people, that look like they're interested enough that they may be taking the course. Um, I told you at the beginning, I didn't care if I didn't have any, I'm still going to teach it. Uh, the timing on this, I, I looked at that that first week, I taught four days. And at the end of the week, the, I told you there was a wedding going to be on next Tuesday, or past Tuesday now. And that's where I always made it to when I was teaching public school. Uh, and I counted the minutes. In public school, 42-minute periods, it added up to, what is it, 168 minutes or something like that. And then I counted how many minutes my videos were and how many minutes long the movie was. 
And I found out that, that I was doing it in about three quarters the time that I was doing it in school. Which is interesting. I mean, I didn't do as much uh, repetition in these videos because it takes quite a while to upload them. That's kind of a that's kind of a pain. Uh, but uh, interesting to me, you know, that I, I can probably teach faster with this medium, and therefore I probably will want to put some things in that I wouldn't normally put in. Related to timing too, I also thought about the fact the other day when the school bus went up the road, it was at seven fifteen. And then it, uh, if uh, I had a child getting on that bus, I think they'd get home about a quarter to four. That is a long day that those kids put in. When you count the time that they're sitting on a bus, boy, that is a long day. Now, I think there were six courses that, that uh, kids had to take for grades. And, uh, you know, if those six courses could probably be taught at the rate I'm teaching, in five hours or so, boy, those kids are away from home a lot longer than five hours. So this, you know, homeschooling, my son was homeschooled. It, it was the saving of him. Uh, my daughter didn't want to be homeschooled, but, uh, I, you know, I think that this could probably work for homeschoolers fine. Um, all right, one other thing. Uh, the first day, the first class, I told you a few things about myself. And uh, there are a couple other things I thought of I could tell you. One of the guys who's watching this, uh, uh, he, he he was a student. Oh, he's, I'm sure he's in his middle twenties now. But anyway, he uh, he emailed me and said he was enjoying this. Well, that uh, that fella, Ed, uh, he traveled to Europe with me three times when he was in school. See, I've traveled a lot, and I should have told you that. Uh, I lived three years in Brazil. I lived uh, uh, half a year in, on a Caribbean island that belongs to Venezuela, Margarita. Margarita, I said that in Portuguese. Um, and uh, uh, I lived in Africa for half a year. I've traveled to Europe, I think, 12 times. Six times, I believe, now I've taken groups of students. Uh, and it was on three of those trips that Ed, Ed went with me. Uh, and I thought to myself, you know, I, I should probably tell, tell my viewers about that. I don't like to travel. Actually, I like to stay home. But when traveling, when you can learn that much by traveling to Europe, that's worth the bother. Uh, so I, uh, I recently went there and I, I just learned so much. And, and of all the countries that I've learned from, I've learned the most uh, from Switzerland, the Alps, the Alps in general. Uh, so that's part of my character. I can tell you more about that uh, later. There'll be others. Uh, thing. And one thing about Ed, too, I remember one time in the Alps, uh, we, it was so beautiful. It was before we left. And uh, everything was just so perfect. And I remember Ed, he was maybe in seventh grade at the time, saying he was just waiting to see a Lionel train, model train, come through because it was like this perfect setting. And I thought that that was a pretty good uh, simile. I remember it to this day because it just looked so neat and perfect. All right, the other thing that it seems to me you might be interested to in know is I was a carpenter. That's how I earned my living for two years. Um, that was before I started to teach school after I came back from the Peace Corps. Um, if I think of other things to tell you about myself, I will if they apply. Some of them will. But anyway, uh, that's enough, I think, for this, uh, for this video. And uh, in a little bit, I'm going to give you the test by quoting a bunch of Shakespeare and see if you can say all, all from Much Ado About Nothing and see if you can uh, name those uh, speakers. See you soon.